Hello, my name is Scott for SP Gaming. Welcome back to Transport Fever Sandbox Edition. And in the last episode, if I'm not mistaken, we ramped up production of various resources. And as we can see, we can, yeah, we have a, what do they call it? A crap ton of resources. <laughs> lots of stuff sitting, lots of stuff waiting. I spent a bit of time off screen, mainly to let things run. We had some issues, notably Gilbert Iron and Coal, because I had ramped this up to the maximum length, but wherever it is, right here, this rail station is only 300, or not 300, this one is only a 160 meter platform. And my trains were getting caught up, and so I decided to add this one, 160 meters. I didn't want to upgrade this, I'd have to replace this out and it'd be a whole lot of hassle and for no real benefit but uh, the Gilbert and iron and coal line is going over here now so that is good and yeah if I wanted to straighten this out I could just send this cut through this there and that would be something I'm thinking possibly <laughs> although I don't really want to mess with this anymore this is good enough, but uh, yeah, we've had some issues here with actually, yeah, we're not getting the quantity of slag being produced just because this is dropped down to a 400 limit, which is rather unfortunate. Yeah, about that. And part of that is, oh, we actually have stuff accumulating there last time I checked this there was nothing there there was like barely anything here we had like eight trains on the line I had an on Mac upgrade to the full length so I sent a bunch of the trains back home to the depots so we have about half the number of trains on that line I might have to find a balance point with that line and we have a large quantity of goods sitting here for Wow uh, RT1 and RT2. Let's take care of that, shall we? Four on RT1. Um, Norfolk RT1 and four more on uh, Norfolk RT2. I got all of the bus lines in addition to that I also got all the bus lines converted over to Chevrolet C60s as well as all the lines now converted over to trams all upgraded to the most recent version of tram and actually if I'm not mistaken we did get I don't think it was a tram nope so the not the I don't think it's a Peter actually it might have been the Peter Witt that aged out. It is 1990, but we have the New Flyer D40. The D40 was a transit bus built by New Flyer Industries. It used hollow tube construction, fiberglass paneling, and wheel housings in stainless steel. So it has a capacity of 15 versus, of course, 13, and it has a top speed of 90 kilometers an hour. It weighs 12 tons, 190 kilowatts of power, Slightly higher running costs and 30 years lifespan. Loading speed is three times versus two times, so that is something. Actually, that's a bit more of an upgrade to this because this had a 3.0 loading speed, whereas this only had a 2.0. The new flyer, so I'm guessing this is more like a modern bus. And this is from 1990. So we have this available or this. And those will always be available. This will age out in 2010. So about that. We no longer have the Ford Model 77. But uh, yeah. And these age out in 1995. From 1990. We also got. Off screen. If I can find a train depot. We got the GE C40-8W, 7.49 million for 113 kilometer hour 
train. That is really disappointing because reasons. It's like over twice expensive as this. You're only getting an extra eight kilometers an hour faster. It has quite a lot more power though and significantly more tractive effort. This six axle diesel electric locomotive built by GE Transportation is distinguished from the Dash 8 Dash 40C by the addition of a wide or safety cap. Okay, about that. Yeah, all right, so. Bumpy deer, buy level, that, that, that ages out in 2000. We are getting close to the year 2000. With that in mind, <laughs> going for the ancient antique. This thing is 98 years old. I bought this back in 19 or 1889, 1888, I think. Nope, 99. 1892 yep this thing's been running for 98 years there's been a couple other trains that are also running ancient but uh, yeah this thing is losing me money overall but I'm doing it for the achievement just so I can say I got that done what else do we have to go for well we can go for the electric train arrived but I might hold off I plan to do a Euro series I'll probably focus more on electric trains in that one, especially with the TGV. So I can, of course, get that achievement in that playthrough. But I won't be doing the European series until either this one or the uh, truck, truck Fever series wraps up. So yeah, that's going to be a little while. I am working on this in, of course, my Truck Fever series. That is nice year 2000 I will get that in this one and I'll of course get this one in my truck fury series reach at least 60 percent coverage for every industrial good in a town and in a commercial coverage for a commercial good town I might be able to do that have a train filled with at least 200 passengers I might want to go for that that's a possibility we've gotten this one we've gotten that one okay serve all industries i'll probably be getting that one in the truck fever so i don't have to really worry about that i'll be getting this one i'll have to do this one off screen just because i don't really know yeah how i want to do that penny pincher i'm going to get those during my truck fever series high speed this actually should be possible with my alco pas although i have a feeling they're not going to depending on yeah it may take them a while I may have to run a an express line to get that reach sound speeds beyond the sound barrier I have no idea what that is so we are very close to wrapping up all the achievements and then of course I'll be starting using mods probably the first one is of course the uh, yeah vehicles never expire so I can bring back the m300 Yes, indeed. Or I can just edit the M300 stats in game to allow me to keep using it. <laughs> Without, of course, ruining achievements. Now, other than that, what I would like to do, I would like to go to McKinney and Cedar Rapids next. We have this here. I put that down and that's about it. Now, this steel mill Kind of in between the two. We have this here, we have that there. I'm thinking maybe a truck line. That's a possibility. Then we get fuel here. Actually, that's quite the possibility. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, do it. Put the depot there. And I'm going to want to put, first of all, um, large country road. A 
and right like that, we are going to gonna be going like this over to there and then back here. Drop off. All right, perfect. And another thing, before I forget about it, over here in Chula Vista, I didn't quite like the fact that livestock was being delivered to Chula Vista. So I have decided I will be, of course, using the bus stop exploit as a drop off point. That's the only reason I'm using it. It is, of course, to prevent my trucks from picking up any freight, such as livestock here. I don't want to have to do this, but this is one of the other reasons I would use a bus stop to drop off cargo. If I was using it just as a place to drop off without picking up anything in return. So yeah, about that. Over here was kind of the same thing, except it just made things a little bit more convenient. Trucks are not ball necking in here, so that makes that flow a little bit better. So yeah, about that. Figured I'd mention it, not that I necessarily have to, but yeah. When it comes to bus stops and cargo, I will not deliver cargo to a bus stop going to a city. Or to drop off to actual zones, because that's just silly. that out just because reasons and there we go although with that said let's just yeah sure All right, so oil will be going from here over to here. And we are going to want to spring this. to go down to a two-lane road for the mountain trek up although with that said yeah we're just going to get rid of these curves just because just because reasons and right up here now the obvious place to put this is right here because reasons cost a little bit but yeah I bet that Sure, that's all right. Now, one thing I could do is I can run a road across here to give it more direct path, but nah, nah. We'll do that. And now we want a depot. We are going to park the depot right here. Although we don't, we do not want trams because trams can't carry cargo without, of course, mods. There have been, in the past, freight trams, but uh, they don't exist in this game. And yeah, we're just gonna do a little bit of smoothing. Now, we want Peterbilt 359. And we are going to new line from here, over to here, over to here. And this is going to be RF McKinney Oil. Actually, oil and fuel. All right, perfect. And just to make sure 
that is connected up to that so it'll drop off there it can get bumped into there and then it can be distributed out presuming of course we actually have road we don't all right first of all I want to color this black And we want to uh, we are going to provide some coverage if I put that there eh. The only thing is, goods that get transferred from here over to here can't actually, I don't believe, use this catchment area. So, yeah, but that we are going to need, we're going to need to put down a few other depots. Like possibly one right there to provide that coverage. Now, if I were to trim out these commercial, and then next up I can come over here. Yeah, we're gonna put this one right there and now we are going to new line this it's going to be RF Mick Kinney we're going to go from here to here here to here and we are going to road depot by road vehicles pier built 359 and we want RF. It would be nice if this set line only did valid lines. So for instance, as a truck, this cannot be on a bus line. As well, buses can't be on truck lines. That would be a nice thing. Just reduce this length of list. RF McKinney. So we got that taken care of. So we will get fuel being dumped off in here. And we are going to need to connect this up. As well as over here. What I'll probably do is run a truck line from here into either McKinney or Cedar Rapids, all depending. Possibly to McKinney. So I'm not going to have a train station there. Now how is the train here and where is my freight? My freight is right here. Alright, so we are going to be doing... Basically straight down the hill. And I think I'll be cutting right into the mountainside, the hillside. Although with that said, we're gonna come out a bit. And now, uh, 
where's the snap point? Right there. Yep, that's fine. And now we are going to bring it into this side. 300, 240, sure, that's fine. And that is the left side. to want to come from here and what I'll probably be doing hmm. it will cut through the mountain but we are going to force this flat in to right about there. And we are going to bring it into there. Now, there's going to be a little bit of tunnel, or do we just dig it out? You know, I'm thinking we're just going to dig it out. It would be silly really really silly to dig a tunnel there especially given if we had moved this over here yeah about that we're just going to spend a bit more to dig it out for reasons and we have some train alignment collisions And there we go. McKinney is connected up to Cedar Rapids. And now we have What am I doing here? Oh, is Which one is extending past McKinney then? I'm guessing rail. Do I have a line here? No, I don't. All right, well, I'm using Yeah, one of the lines is going to... I think Henderson, Phoenix, McKinney was just going to be a short one. Alright, well, what I'm going to do, we are going to set up a new line. We are going to color this. Uh, what color do we have available? We'll just color this 
red again. And go from here over to here. Into here, nope, we're going to go into here. So we are going to need to waypoint this up. Unless I do that. Yep, that works. And then there, and then back to there. So this is going to be TP high speed. We're just going to name it TP Henderson to McKinney. I have no idea if it was originally supposed to be an M300 line. Although with that said, this shares this section here. And it doesn't really matter. I can run the uh, All American Golden Sands on that line. And what I'm going to do right now, we are going to put a depot and we are just going to go with 14 19 94 I thought I hope that something else comes up We'll go with that. Two, three, four, five, and six. And this is going to be the TP Henderson and McKinney. All right, so we are going to let that run. And that will kick up some interest in traveling on that line. And one thing we might as well do, I'm assuming we don't have it running on the Tampa to Riverside line. It is no longer the Tampa to Riverside line. It is now the uh, Riverside we are going to add there and then back to here we are adding McKinney now to the line and now it's just a matter of running the final section of passenger line like that and this is pretty much all that was required in order to connect up McKinney and Cedar Rapids now with that said I am going to need passing lanes as well as signals so yeah about that Well, we are going to throw signals. And as soon as, oh bother. And 
we are going to want to throw this here. As soon as the year 2000 rolls over, we will be upgrading the Tampa and Riverside line to high speed trains. Although, with that said, we won't be able to run Alcos. Well, that's going to be rather unfortunate. Yeah, about that. We'll have to find something else to run on the Tampa to Riverside line, but it's going to be getting an upgrade, a very, very nice upgrade. And there we go. Now we're just going to throw down a few more signals and we will be done. And actually one thing I can do right now, I will let it run, but first, uh, Tampa to Riverside is actually going to be Cedar Rapids and then McKinney. So this is now Tampa to Cedar Rapids. Losing me 3.89 million dollars all right so we have that we are going to let that run and now down the rest of the signals actually want to bring it down to speed two Now, with that said, I am going to want to set up public transit. Yeah, about that. Because right now we have a little bit of coverage. But not enough. Alright, so we have that going like that. Like that. Um, we are going to medium street, yes, and electric. Well, that's annoying. All right, about that. Now, have this. We have that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. All right, so we have this outer loop. We have this here. We have that there and that there. I'm thinking what I want is possibly Actually, here's a question. Do I have any no, I don't. All right, McKinney to Cedar Rapids, Riverside to McKinney. So I am going to want them coming in, probably in through here. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're gonna put a passenger station right here. And I'm actually going to want to, yep. 
And now we are going to put a second one because we're gonna, yeah. We'll put a second one right here. Like that. Now we are going to run five tram lines. This is going to be bus McKinney tram RT1 and bus McKinney tram RT5. It's one. RT3, RT2, RT5. Now, most of these will not be very effective, but we are going to run and we are going to need bus stops. Awesome. Now, what I want is... We're going to have one here. And then we are going to have another here. Actually, no. We're going to have it here. And then we are going to throw it there. This one is going to go like this over to here, over to here, throw this here. here and then we are going to put one here and one right here we're also going to do over here there 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 And then this one is going to go to here. Actually, we are going to do one here, one there. I'm going to have it right about there. And then we are going to be doing one out. One right there. One right there. One right there. And then we are going to, we can upgrade that, upgrade that and upgrade that and we're going to go to there now the kidney tram RT1 is going to go from there to there 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 here okay that's not exactly how I th okay yep I bet that RT2 
we'll go from here to here to here. There, there. There, and then back to there. This will go from here to here, here to here. Here, then to there, back to there. We'll have this one, which is gonna go from here to here, to here, there, 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 there there and then back to there and RT5 is going to go from here to here there 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 back to there and going between the two back to there that is going to be McKinney I may change it up as the city develops but uh, that will provide some pretty good coverage and my original plan was to actually run one line that went like this then the other line that went like that which I could probably do by just upgrading that upgrading that and just switching up the lines but you know that is fine there's a larger loop a smaller loop I don't really like loops I do like loops Loops are easy. Point to points are more effective. They are more profitable because of course you're going from here to here and people are paying based on the, yeah, distance from where they get on to where they got off, which is of course, has nothing to do with reality. Anyway, we're gonna throw a bus depot here. We are going to, of course, put a tram depot yeah, right there and I'm just going to buy some Toronto CRLVs three of them and this is going to be on McKinney RT1 McKinney RT2 and RT5 we are going to also buy a new flyer and this is going to run from McKinney to Riverside. Although with that said, we are going to need to add it to the line. Riverside to McKinney. We are going to go from there over to right there. And now what I would like to do, bother. Yeah, this is technically gonna count as a tram line because it starts, it has two stops that are tram depots, which is rather silly. Anyway, I bet that. At this point in time though, what I'm going to do is take a break here and we will continue off with more transport fever in the next episode, I want to get out to Cedar Rapids. We will be setting that up next, but I just wanted to take a break here and get this running. But at this point in time, I'd like to say thank you for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever Sandbox Edition. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.